to Kumasi. Yeah. And uh, after the shadow of activities in Kumasi business seem to have resumed, uh, Maxwell Agbagba will be giving us the latest update on events after the burial. And Maxwell is ready with the latest. Maxwell, how is it in Kumasi? Uh, we know that as far as we're concerned, even those who were said to have uh, been lunatics uh, before the event or deserted the main street of Kumasi. Any reasons why you want to tell us um, what we should know or not know about? We hand over to of some few, I must say few uh, recalcitrant traders who came to the market, snuck into the market actually uh, to do business. But we caught up with um, some members of a joint police and military uh, team trying to stamp out uh, those recalcitrant traders who had come to the market um, for business. Now what they did essentially was to talk them um, out of um, selling at the market. Um, they didn't do anything to them. They didn't harm them in any way. They just told them um, to go back to their various homes. Now, one of the security personnel that we had interaction with um, yesterday um, told us that he just wanted to make the place clear um, for the procession that will lead um, the late Asante Hema to the Bantama uh, Museum before it will be taken to Bremen, where it will be finally uh, buried. Now, Yesterday also, uh, this market, I must say, we didn't spot any headquarter, you know, here in the market. All of the shops here were locked with no commercial activity whatsoever um, going on here at this market. The taxi drivers were not operating. Trucker drivers were also not operating. In fact, the joint military and police team would not allow them uh, to operate. Secondly, also, uh, there was a curfew between the hours of 8 p.m. to 4 and that also contributed to a total sack down of, um, uh, of, of, the, uh, of Kumasi. There was no business activity whatsoever. Now, yesterday, in fact, when we left the Minshaw Palace, heading back to our hotel in Desham, so around 5 o'clock p.m., the streets were virtually empty with no vehicular or human uh, traffic going on. Telling you, giving an indication of um, the compliance, the total compliance to the directive or the fiat issued um, by the Minshaw Palace. Today, business has bounced back. Um, the Kumasi Central uh, Market has bounced back to life. Let's have interactions with um, some sellers here at the market. Find out from them um, what it was like staying at home yesterday, what it was like observing uh, the KFU hours uh, yesterday, and also find out from the trotro drivers and the taxi drivers here also, what business is like today, especially when yesterday we came here and the whole market was empty. Let me have interactions with uh, this Oko seller here. Let me find out from her. Moni, good, uh, good morning. Pacho Pacho. Pacho Mdeyebua. Yebua. 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 Okay, she says her name is Yebua. Yebua, Enra, when to be on bad job? Uh, now, uh, 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 now we are fine. Well, so uh, we're having some difficulties with the sound yeah. there, so we decided to suspend that for the moment. But mm -hmm. Maswala Bagbada is speaking to a number of the traders in the central business district of Kumasi, Doom, and the main streets of. Uh, and you get to find that. They are just back, just like the way you slide pictures <laughs> <laughs> of a of a day scene and a night. They yeah. swap them. They just they, I mean, you just could look at the contrast and and know that's how it is. Mm. Strange, strange, yeah. strange, strange, strange. They are back in business. Uh, so you're watching the M show. It's 33 minutes after eight. Still ahead.